Howdy everybody, it is I, your friendly neighborhood Skook with a Uke, coming at you from my apartment. Uh, I ran home this weekend for uh, my church's charge conference, which was good, it went well. Uh, and on my way back, uh, I told my buddy I would stop and pick him up some pipe cleaners. And one does not simply stop at Cigar International and just get pipe cleaners. So uh, I have a bag here from there that I'd like to go through, and I did kind of a restock of my... Uh, library, I guess you could say, and I want to do some some cellaring, but uh, you know when you kind of hit the end of your your favorite two or three couple blends there that you hit pretty regularly, and and you kind of just have to restock the library. So I'm gonna go over kind of the the yabo from Cigar International, if you can. It's more of a bag opening, uh, but I needed some pipe cleaners for myself for my church wardens, so I picked up some Long's extra absorbent as per the usual, because it's hard to clean a uh, church warden if you don't have church warden pipe cleaners. Uh, I stopped in and I couldn't find this anywhere, but they did have uh, Russ's candy corn, which I was hesitant about buying at first. Uh, I, I'd read about it and I'd read reviews of it, and then uh, Corn Cob Piper, who I think his, his palette and my palette are potentially uh, very similar, said that he really enjoyed it, and so I picked some up. It smells absolutely amazing. Uh, I got three ounces of it just because I just assume I'm really going to enjoy it. And so I'm really excited to try that. Probably going to try that later today. Uh, while I was there talking to the guy, he said, Oh my gosh, you have to smell the blackberry brandy. And it does really smell amazing. It smells very sweet and like the, the berry, like the cranberry almost, kind of comes through immediately in the bag note. So I'll maybe do a video of my, my notes on that. Uh, and then I got one ounce of something called cinnamon roll, just because I have a friend that likes to smoke a lot of things that like taste like like baked goods, is what I kind of equate it to, like uh, the pirate, not, not pirate's cake, birthday cake. That's what I'm trying to think of, birthday cake. Uh, I don't know what blend that is specifically. Uh, I missed by a day their Halloween event at Cigar International, but that's okay, because I, I was swinging back here so I could play guitar with the church. And then, of course, here are the uh, pipe cleaners that I told my friend I would pick up, what I actually intended to go in and get. But it's kind of like when you go to Walmart and you only need three exact things, and then you end up seeing other stuff, and you're just, you're, your cart's full by the end of it. And uh, Cigars International, they actually have a new match box. I'll, if I can remember at the end, I'll, I'll do a side-by-side, side, but their new box says Cigar.com, fast, safe, and reliable, uh, satisfaction guaranteed. So I'll hold that up, and if I can remember, I'll go grab one of my other boxes. I always grab as many boxes of matches as they'll give me, because if there's one thing that everybody runs through in the, the YTPC, it's probably matches and pipe cleaners. Uh, next, I've got my Yabo that I ordered from Pipes and Cigars, which is actually here in Bethlehem. So I always get my packages very quickly. I think this came two days after I ordered it. I got the shipping label like the night of, which was awesome. But, uh, and I'm opening it with my trusty old timer, which I always say it's my, my dainty pocket knife because, uh, Having a, a Swiss Army knife in girl pockets doesn't usually work out very well. It's just a little bulky. All right. We've got the bag o' air, as per the usual. Here I ordered uh, four ounces of Captain Black Royal, which is just... Uh, I know some people have strong opinions about Captain Black, some people really don't like it, some people really love it. Uh, it's the first blend that I ever smoked, so it's always kind of got like a warm spot in my heart uh, for Captain Black Royal. And right now, uh, Pipes and Cigars is doing a 150 per ounce for the refills, and they are, uh, I believe they're working around the extra taxes in Pennsylvania, so they're, they're cutting good deals for PA citizens like myself, so... Uh, I really appreciated that, and restocking, uh, of course, this is going straight into a mason jar, I already have set up for it. I ordered uh, Sutliff Coffee, also four ounces, because uh, I really love this blend with a cup of coffee, and so I kind of have, uh, during the week I'll set like at least one, one time during the week, if I can't do more, 
where I kind of just go on the back porch and I have my cup of coffee and I have, usually it's a church warden, and I'm just kind of chilling there. Uh, sometimes I'll read the Bible or listen to worship music and just kind of have like a, I call it my coffee date with God. So uh, that is my favorite blend to smoke during that time. So I had a restock on Sutliff coffee. Uh, next, I think last, we've got uh, Sutliff hot chocolate, which I ordered now because this is my favorite blend for uh, around Christmas time. And it's the blend that I smoke most frequently at home because my mom and my sisters uh, are not really fans of the, the smell of the pipe or uh, having any kind of smoke around them. But this makes you smell like chocolate. So if you are gonna be smoking around somebody that doesn't particularly enjoy the smell of smoke and uh, you like Cavendish, this is definitely the blend for you because it tastes just like a cup of cocoa in my opinion. And I am uh, always, I have a soft spot for Cavendish. It's like my favorite thing in the world. And then I ordered uh, two pipe tools, just the standard check pipe tool because my friend who I picked up the pipe cleaners for uh, he also wanted to grab one of these I can probably get it out of the package although everybody probably just owns one of these already it doesn't want to come out of the package just cut it out there we go haha -ha. all right got the regular check with your your little your tamp and your your scoop and your aerator or whatever you might use that for. I usually end up using that to empty my bowl instead of the scoop just because I think it fits better in some of my bowls. So two pipe tools, uh, one for my friend and one for me to kind of put in my car, I think, or my jacket pocket. I haven't decided yet. You gotta have tampers everywhere. It's just, it's just how it works. And then this is what I'm really excited for. Uh, I saw this online and I haven't bought a pipe in a while. I've been particularly good about not buying pipes because I know the inclination is as soon as you see a cool looking pipe, I just wanna like get it. And I'm, I, I don't know if everybody else feels the same way, but I'm just kind of one of those people. But I haven't bought a new pipe in a while. And so I saw this one, I think it's a Boschwin, or I'm really bad with, I'm gonna just butcher that. But they call it a zebra pipe. So we're just gonna do I love the way this looks. I think it's, I feel like it's very unique and it's got uh, the saddle kind of here in the back as far as the, so. It said it's made with briar and other wood. So uh, I'm guessing you can kind of see, it looks like it's briar lined with potentially like this exotic zebra wood. Although I, I don't quote me, I don't know that for sure. Uh, it didn't say on the website and I'm gonna look this up a little bit later and see what else I can find out about it but it looks like a pretty cool pipe and it's very light it kind of sets very nicely so I might talk about this later then too but uh, I just wanted to kind of give everybody an update and uh, since I was doing restocking and uh, had no self-control at Cigar International I thought I'd show everybody what I got so I should actually be good now for a couple months. I don't think I'll need to buy anything for a while. But thank you everybody for watching this far and uh, checking out the channel. Uh, go ahead and hit subscribe or like or whatever or just kind of, you know, whatever floats your boat. I actually saw the other day, uh, it looks like I've got about 80 subscribers right now. So I think potentially I've got a giveaway coming soon in my future, but more details on that to come. So thank you for joining me for my restocking the library yabo. Have a great one, everybody. And then just because I didn't forget, here we've got uh, the regular uh, Cigar International. It's got regular old box of matches. And here's the new one that I received last night. Cigars.com, fast, safe, reliable, satisfaction guaranteed. Got just that. So interesting. I don't know what that's about. I should probably Google it, but uh, just to share with everybody. All right, have a good one.